How to make a new world map. Let's be frank, it's not in the name of knowledge that we put maps on our walls. As fascinating as they are, maps give us a sense of power and pride, and everybody likes to stare at them. Politicians do it as often as we do. Gaza, Georgia and Russia, Tuvalu, Italy and Switzerland. But with our country's borders changing daily for both political and climate reasons, don't you feel that you just have to take the matter into your own hands? You will need a blank map on a wall and crowd participation. To make the blank map on the wall, you will need a white wall, an overhead projector, a transparency sheet, a world map projection, watercolour and brushes, and cocktail glasses. For crowd participation, you will need cocktail flags and umbrellas in four colours, serving trays, serving bowls of wooden glue, party mini money pads, a lucky dip box, pencils, a grid projection, and several attendants. Step one, find a suitable white wall. It could be anywhere, and the more public, the better it is, as long as it's in the whiter shade. Step two, choose a map projection of your liking. Sebenanya banyak sekali pilihan poyakiksi peta, tapi ingatla bawa yang kita perlukan. Adala peta yang tidak dapat langsung dikenali sebagai peta dunia yang sekarang berlakun. Antak inilah proyeksi dimaksion oleh Buckminster Fuller cukup ideal. Step 3. Trace the layout of the map onto a transparency sheet and project it onto the white wall. Start painting your watercolour mural, preparing the watercolour in the cocktail glasses. Proces ini memakan waktu cukup lama. Jadi ingatlah untuk menandai lante dumana o hapa anda berdiri supaya posisinya terjaga sampai proses selese. Step 4. Prepare your cocktail flags and cocktail umbrellas. Toothpicks or long matchsticks can be a good material for doing your own cocktail flags. Remember to pick four of the same colours for the cocktail flags and umbrellas. Soal jumla wanda dalam peta sebananya tela dibas ole para ali mate mitika sejak abad lalu. Teori peta ampat wana kemudian de buktikan ole Kenneth April dan Wolfgang Hicken pada tahun sehubu sembilan ratus tuju pula ena. Teori ini menyatakan bawa dalam sebua bidang data yang dibaji menjadi dera dera yang saling berbatasan. Yang kita sebut peta, daerah daerah transport bisa dewan nai dengan menggunakan paling banyak empat warna sehingga tidak ada dua daerah yang saling berbatasan yang bawaan sama. Jadi hanya empat warna saja sudah cukup untuk membuat peta dunia baru kita. Step five, put all the mini money into a lucky dip box, then prepare your serving trays with the cocktail flags umbrellas and the bowl of glue. In the meanwhile, invite a crowd. Step 6. Let the attendant serve the flags and umbrellas by saying, would you like to claim some land? People will have to first choose a flag or umbrella and dip its base to the white glue in the dipping bowl. They will then have to pick one item from the lucky dick box before approaching the map. Step 7. Project the grid onto the blank map on the wall. As people approach the map, they have to choose an area contained within contiguous grids. The total number of the grids they can claim depend on the value of the bills they've got from the lucky dip. $1 for one grid, $5 for two grids, $10 for three, and $20 for four grids. To make a claim, people have to stick a flag or umbrella, trace the borderlines of their chosen area with pencil, and write their last name on the area of the map that they are claiming. Another rule of thumb is that they cannot claim an area next to a claimed area whose flag or umbrella is the same colour as theirs. Step 8. After the party, colour each regions according to the colour of the marking flag or umbrella and rewrite the last names in black. Mark all unclaimed areas terra nullius in grey. 
arrange the remaining of your props next to the wall and include this do-it-yourself video as part of the installation. Anda juga bebas membuat video anda sendiri. Did you know? Terra incognita is a term used in cartography for regions that have not been mapped or documented. During the 19th century, terra incognita disappeared from maps since both the coastlines and the inner parts of the continents have been fully explored. Terra nullius, on the other hand, is a Latin expression deriving from Roman law, meaning land belonging to no one, which is used in international law to describe territory which has never been subject to the sovereignty of any state. There is some controversy, however, about the meaning of the term terra nullius. For example, it is asserted that, rather than implying mere emptiness, terra nullius can be interpreted as an absence of civilised society. The English common law of the late 1800s allowed for the legal settlement of uninhabited or barbarous country.